it's all 100% linen clothing, um, inspired much from my upbringing, being in the south of France. I went to school in the south of France. My family had a home in the south of France forever. Um, so the Mediterranean kind of lifestyle, with the, which is all about linen, <laughs> pretty much, and also being sustainable. Whitney Westwood started a Canadian fashion brand called Whitney Linen back in 2011. It's manufactured right here in Canada and focuses on clothes and home decor. This year, she will be at the Friday Harbor Fashion Series showcasing her work. And it's just a really great platform to get more eyes and followers on each brand. And, um, you know, Canadian designers, there's so much talent. There's great Canadian designers out there, but it's very, you know, it, it's not as worldwide renowned. And to be able to have some kind of platform that allows more people to actually tap into and follow individual designers, it's really helpful. Friday Harbor Fashion Collective Series started last year as a collaboration between Friday Harbor Resort and the Canadian Arts and Fashion Awards. CAF has partnered with Friday Harbor to host an amazing weekend that's going to be filled with amazing fashion shows, a pop-up marketplace, live music, entertainment. We started last year, as Vicky said, it was a great success. Uh, we wanted to really bring it back uh, bigger and bolder, as Vicky said as well. And uh, we can't wait to really welcome, um, you know, our community members, uh, our surrounding community members and visitors alike to really come, uh, not only visit Friday Harbor, but then also uh, appreciate Canadian talent and uh, their beautiful creations. Not only is this fashion event back, but the CAF Awards, which highlight Canadian fashion, such as Whitney Linen, will be back in person this fall. Last in-person event was in 2019, um, and then we did do a virtual version last year, but of course, it's not the same when everyone's in the room together, dressed so beautifully, you know, supporting Canadian fashion designers and brands, and um, it means a lot. I think, you know, especially through the pandemic, every, every industry has gone through such a hard time, and to be able to bring everyone together in the room again to not only celebrate each other, support one another, but again, to shine an international spotlight on who we have in this country. As for the Friday Harbor Fashion Collective Series, it will take place for the next two weekends. For more information, you can go to our website, citynews.ca, under extras. For City News, I'm Stella Quisto.